It's important that we have the right equipment for a perfect recording, be it for podcast, music, or even YouTube videos as I'm doing here. Audacity is one such software which is widely used for voiceover recording and audio editing purposes. The software has tons of features which equally makes it complicated to use, but with the help of few settings, you can enhance your audio clip to create a more professional sound. This week's video focuses on the best settings for Audacity to sound like a pro. Hi, my name's Rohit and let's begin. Before we see the important settings, make sure of the following things. First, after you have connected your microphone, choose your recording microphone or audio interface over here and choose the speakers connected with your computer or else the headphones as your playback device. Second, also keep in mind that you can get the best out of these settings when you have a silent environment. And finally, in case your microphone or audio interface does not have a separate gain option, then use the first slider over here to control the gain. Keep this under 100% to avoid tearing and the optimal range would be between 83% to 91%. The first step will be to record your audio, but do this only after the first 5 seconds. I'll tell you why in few moments. Once you're done, come back to the beginning of the clip and select or highlight the gap we had created. Next step is to apply one of the effects. Select noise reduction from here and then click on get noise profile. This will analyze the noise in the selected part and create a setting as to how much noise reduction is needed. We will apply the setting through the whole clip. So select all, go back to noise reduction and click OK to apply step 2. I recommend you to not touch these settings as they do the job. This way, the background noise in your audio clip will dramatically reduce and will make it clean. After cleaning the track from background noises, you'll notice that the audio would have toned down. So the next step will be to raise its levels. Select the whole audio clip and apply the amplify effect. Before proceeding, do watch the playback level over here. The closer your playback level is to zero, the louder your sound will be and would require less amount of amplification. Now at the time of recording, depending upon the gain set on your mic and audio interface, you'll have to adjust the amplification level as per it. If you haven't set or don't have an option to set a gain on your mic or audio interface, I recommend you to amplify the sound between positive 1.5 to positive 3.5. This is still subject to your preference, so play around with it to get your optimal level. But be careful not to increase it way too much that your audio clip starts to tear. Third step is an optional one. In your recording, there'll be moments where you spoke too loudly or you have spikes that are exceeding the level of your whole audio. With the help of limiter effect, you can place a limit to the whole audio clip which will not only help you bring such spikes down to a desired level but also prevents from raising audio levels beyond the chosen limit to create a good range with a consistent level of sound. However, it can also negatively impact the sound quality resulting in clipping and flattening of the sound. I use the same settings as already set over here, so you can use them as well. Final step is to normalize the audio clip. You must have seen in your audio clip that some areas are very low and some areas have spiked. By using the normalize effect, it will analyze the highest peak in the audio clip, that is your highest spike, and will amplify the rest of the clip as per it. This will not affect the dynamic range of the audio and can only be used to make an audio louder or quieter. This way, you can balance out the audio and raise the level of the low pitch areas. However, this effect can also raise the background noise level if you have any. In my experience, this effect works well when you use it between minus 2 to minus 5 dB. That's all for today. I hope you got to learn some new ways to improve your audio clips via the settings shown here. Thank you for watching this video till the end and I'll see you in my next one.